Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you're new, I'm Novia and welcome to Adulting with Novia. If you have a moment, please click that subscribe button down below so you can be notified when I post my next videos. But yeah, today I'm going to be showing you guys my 2019 budget wallet setup, which is this right here. But before we get into this, I'm gonna show you what I use actually for last year. This is a standard Webster Pages, or standard size, I'm sorry, Webster Pages Traveler Notebook, and it has four bands on it. I actually went through this before a couple months ago with my quarterly review, but for those who haven't seen it, I'll give you a quick overview. So in here, I have three of these inserts, and it has three card slots here, um, a long, just regular slotted such and such back here, and it has a zipper pocket. So what I use this for, as you can tell, is receipts. There were cards in here, and behind the cards were these little keepsake movie stub things, and zipper pockets where I kept any actual cash that I had on hand. The inserts that I used in this one are all Annie Plans printables. So the first one I had was a 2018 monthly where I tried to keep track of all of you know my monthly bills. And these stickers are from the Happy Planner Trendsetter book. And then I only did this, I think I only lasted until July. And then these are from Grumpy Bear Sticker Co. I think I lasted until July before I said, forget it, I don't need it. And you'll see why in a second. Another one of those inserts, because on my bill overview, it has like a bill tracker and then it has like a blank page. What is this? Okay, I guess. And it has like a blank page over here. So basically I just do all my math on this side, have my bill tracker on the other side and that worked for me just fine. Another one of those, oh, this is the back end of that insert. And then here's another one. And then I had the password insert from Annie Plans Printables, where you have website, username, password. I didn't really use this one either, but you know, apparently I just like buying inserts and, inserts and not using them. Then I had her meal planner, which I used also for a little bit, but then I stopped because my problem is with these meal planner inserts, Oh, I lost a little Grumpy Bear clip. My plot, my problem with these meal planner inserts is that they only have enough space really for like one meal. Cause I write really big and sloppy if you can't tell. But, and this is when I first started hand lettering. Oh, we've come such a long way. Anyway, and it just wasn't enough space. So eventually I stopped using these as well. And in the back here, I have her address book insert where you can have you have space for the name address phone number and email of everyone in the back i put one of these little clear pocket things for some stickers that relates to money these are also all from the trendsetter book from happy planner and as you can tell i am obsessed with keeping receipts for everything receipts for days okay let me stop i'm a hot mess so let me slide right into 2019. This I just got through finished making. It is an A6 size traveler's notebook in faux croc vinyl, not leather, vinyl. Cause crocodiles deserve to live too. And on the outside it's this, but on the inside it's a completely different type of pleather. So I have, I made a pocket right here so I can keep my driver's license so it's easily accessible. And then back here I have some post-its, because I do use post-its a lot. These are from So Berry Busy, like B-E-R-R-Y, busy. And then I have the leftover Grumpy Bear Sticker Co. stickers. I have more of these. I just don't know where they decided to live. Whatever, planner problems. It has. It also has four, four bands, and in the back it has a little space so I can put cash. Look at how chunky this is. I'm not making this chunky just for the sake of saying like, I have a chunky planner. Like I don't, I'm not here to like chunk planner shame on you, <laughs> but everything, there's only four things in here and everything has a purpose. So the first one is this Christian LaCroix notebook that I got from TJ Maxx like almost a decade ago. And in here, it's just basically gonna be like an inbox. So here I'm gonna keep like ongoing shopping lists, gifts, li gift lists, anything that relates to my finances, I'm going to keep in here. It's just 
uh, brain dumping type little notebook. So anytime I think of like, oh, this can go on my grocery list for this week, any like random meal plan ideas that I need groceries for, like that goes in there, that's what that's for. I also made two wallet inserts. This one out of the faux croc, whatever. So I made a place for cards back here. It's just a big old flap where I'm keeping my stamp or my last two stamps, whatever. And then over here, it's a zipper pocket where I can keep change until I dump it in the change bin. Same thing, I did it out of the pleather. Flap in the back, card slots. And I can fit quite a few cards in here. I think this there's three in this one. And then I have here an ink joy roller, like ballpoint pen that I don't really like, but I need a pen inside of my wallet because I don't like using people's random pens because germs. Hashtag flu season, anyway. And in the back is my Stology 365, which you guys know is what I am using for my budget planning, financial debt-free journey. All the hashtags, all the hashtags and keywords. But yeah, that's what this is for. And this obviously takes up most of the bulk because it's fat fat. But that concludes the tour of my 2019 budget slash wallet planner thing. <laughs> so if you guys have a setup where you combine your budget planner and your wallet system, or if you have like a wallet system that you use, but you use a planner for it, let me know down below. Like what do you, like what inserts and things do you have in inside of your budget slash wallet planner thing? <laughs> I don't even know what to call this, but I don't even care. I just love it. I'm so excited to use this, like words cannot describe. But thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button right there, right there, and the little bell ringer next to it so you can be notified when I post my next video. Until next time, thank you again so for so much for joining me.